Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to start off by using the Nivea Aftershave Balm just to kind of uh, prime my face and then using the Prep and Prime by MAC just to hydrate it as well. Using just a simple foundation brush with nothing on it, just going to prime my eyes and then use some tape to create those flicks and they're going to be quite intense flicks but we're using shadow. So going in with Makeup Geek using a light brown shadow as a transition colour. I'm going to use this along my lids and kind of just above my crease just to give it a bit of a base and then I go straight into black. I'm using a flat uh, shader brush. It's just a lot easier and plus you can pack on the colour a lot better. So pat it on, don't brush it on because you're going to get it everywhere but it also means it builds up the colour a lot better and just by using the brush you can kind of slowly go up that sort of tape and create a little bit of a flick and then get a very soft uh, short edge short edge? Yeah, short edge brush and blend it all out as much as you can. The more you blend the better it will look. It takes a little bit of time but not too much. And then get the rest of that brush and a little bit of the product and run it along your lash below as well. Now go back here with that big fluffy brush we used with the brown and make sure that you blend out that black and all the edges. Once you've taken your tape off, you want to go again underneath your eye and just use that bit of fluffy brush and blend it all out as much as possible. So the reason behind this is that it makes it a bit more of a deeper darker look. It also saves you time when you're wanting to do eyeliner but you don't actually have the time to do so so this just creates a better and much more smokier easier look for that kind of Halloween effect that you want to achieve and again same before just go underneath your eyes and we will go back to the under eye later on so don't worry too much if it's messy just remember that when you are applying this black shadow a little bit goes a long way so just be careful but make sure you go systematically and just kind of keep a pattern of applying it as basic as possible. Now go on a little bit of mascara. I'm not going to go too much into this because I'm going to be wearing some amazing lashes from House of Lashes called Iconics. They're my favourite ones for kind of glam or going out look and they're really spidery and really thick so I think it will suit this look really really well. But I'm using the L'Oreal False Lash Technique I want to say mascara. It's one of my favourite ones. And then I'm going in with my eyelashes and applying as well. If you're looking for a really good eyelash glue, Revlon eyelash glue is incredible. I can't express how amazing it is. So definitely have a look on Amazon and purchase that glue because it will save you from losing your eyelashes throughout the night. Trust me on that one. And what I'm going to be using also is my tweezers. They are postman, postman? stamp tweezers. <laughs> but they're brilliant for applying eyelashes. Now I've used a white paint like a face paint but it's like a solid block so you wet it and then you kind of apply it on never apply wet like a face paint as such uh with a brush because it just won't apply easy always use a wet damp sponge which is what i'm doing right now but i've mixed in a little bit of my foundation just to give coverage but also just to kind of give a little bit of a look we don't want to go stark white on the eyes just because it'd be quite intense even though i know it's halloween and you know you go all out but i just kind of like a little bit of a a human flesh coming through I guess and then on the areas that you're not going to be applying the white just go with your foundation I'm using the L'Oreal true match it costs a tenner and it is incredible I've raved about this already and I'm going in on the bottom on a neckline and also on the top of my forehead but make sure you apply it really really well because you will be of course going around that area with black shadow so you don't want to kind of uh, slack a little bit on the foundation and plus it'll probably be a heavy night of dancing and drinking so if you apply a good layer then at least it'll stay on for most of the night and then obviously go back in with that sponge and just even out the edges a little bit not too fast because again we're going in later with that black liner but just to kind of even it out just to smidge in and kind of create a much more better look now I'm setting the white with a white-ish, I'd say, ish powder, just so it doesn't actually kind of move because this face paint isn't like a quality of the foundation. You want to be very sensible with it. It will budge if you do knock it. So the powder's just there to set it all and make sure it doesn't sweat off as well. Go to my NYX contour kit. Any contour colour would do, but this is just, I like this because it's my look. You don't have to apply it. It's not quite a kind of... Uh, Halloween effect but it just makes me feel a bit more me as well as the Halloween look that I'm creating today and then contouring my neckline and making sure that I'm doing my forehead as well just so I got that kind of two-tone blend of clown face in the middle and then natural on the top and the bottom of my face so I was going by Crispy's picture and dotting kind of where the points 
meat, if that makes any sense. I find that before you start going fully into creating kind of the line work, just stop to where each point will start. And then I find that if you do make a mistake, it at least doesn't look as bad. And that also applies to the kind of, um, the, what would I call it? Just the, every connection, <laughs> that makes no sense. But it just means it's a lot easier to kind of follow, especially because you're using a 3D object to, to draw on rather than a flat face or flat object. <laughs> but what I've done is just kind of use dots to guide me to each point. And then I wouldn't worry so much about it being too neat on the bottom of the line because we're going to use shadow to kind of blend that all out. But you want to make sure that you do have a good kind of um, good line work, I guess, if you want to kind of describe it in that way, from each point to the other. And just concentrate really well. This is actually an old eyeliner I'm using because I don't want to ruin any of my other eyeliners. But I'm just going through systematically each one connecting all the dots up and then making that line a bit more neater as well. The great thing at this point is that if you do mess up, it's not the end of the world in a way because it's not supposed to be neat really, like it is a clown face, you know, if it does mess up, it's not the end of the world. But as long as you've got a good shape on it, then it's not a problem. And then what I've done before already, what I've done now is I've just gone in and neatened up those kind of edges, make them a bit more pointier to say the least. Um, my brush on this liner isn't the greatest, it's actually fraying, it probably wasn't the greatest choice but try and find a liner that is quite pointy to create those edges. Now I'm going back in with the black and I'm just going to blend out a bit more underneath and make it a bit more kind of dead and smoky and a bit more kind of Halloween-y I guess. And I'm using the black for the Makeup Geek kit that I have. So softening the edges, again, you don't have to be neat on this, you can be as messy as possible, it doesn't have to be, but I am a bit of a neat freak, so I quite like having a good blend, but you can be messy with it, because at the end of the day, it is supposed to look quite horrific, horrific, <laughs> quite horrific and kind of scary as well. So again, going back to the dot work, I'm using that as a way of guiding me down to make everything a bit even, um, and I'm creating the lines down the face. Actually use a different eyeliner this time. This is just one of my kind of go-to eyeliners. It's a lot more thinner and it's a lot more black. So I'm hoping this will be a lot easier to create those corners. You can't really see what I'm doing because this is hard work. I have quite wrinkly under eyes. So it's not the easiest thing to create when you have under eyes like mine. But it's, it's not the neatest. But you know it will do when you get the gist of it. I think also the black shadow helps and kind of takes away the fact that these aren't the neatest, uh, yeah, they're not the neatest pieces of work I've done. But it's it's all good fun and you just got to kind of play around with it, take your time and just neaten up those edges as best as possible. It's not a quick Halloween makeup, I must admit, but if you've got time, I mean, it takes a, a good 40 minutes just to create this look and it's awesome at the end. So going back in with that white paint, I do use the Fix Plus to spray it on it to kind of get a bit more um, of a te runny texture to create the two white uh, spots on my eyebrows and also underneath or on my chin I should say. And I'm using just a simple makeup brush, nothing too fancy. And back in with the liner to create that line. I haven't used dots this time but I've definitely kind of kept a steady hand on this and gone back and forth as well. Now this bit was tricky because you're applying paint or liner on top of paint. So you've just got to be careful again. Just create a Y shape that's upside down and then you've pretty much nailed it. And then just go back and forth and neaten up the edges and create a bit more of that point. But yeah, this was a bit tricky. But you know, it, it'll do. It still looks reasonably well. I doubt anyone's going to question me about my um, neatness of line work. I'm using even more fine line liner <laughs> to neaten up the corners and the ends of those flicks or those kind of um, points, I'd just say. And if you do struggle and do something wrong, then just use a, a simple, I think, angled brush and some concealer and neaten up if you need to. Now, these are supposed to be like diamonds, but yeah, it didn't quite go as, as planned, but I'm sure people will get a gist of what it is supposed to be anyway. But going in with a fine liner and neaten up the inner edges and just fling it all in. So going back in with my black, I'm just going to use a kind of dumpy flat uh, smudger brush, I believe this is called from Zoeva, and just going to go in with the lines that I've created and just shadow them out. 
and honestly this there's no technique just kind of got to dab it and slight small strokes and just kind of tap and sort of drag it a little bit outwards to create that kind of um, gradient shadow I guess it's not the neatest thing but that's what's so great about this makeup look it can be super messy as well now going in along the whole line but every so often what I will do is I block a line underneath that liner that we've made and then I'll use like a real soft brush and just even it out it's not neat but it does look good when it's a bit rough because it kind of creates a bit more of a, a half ass effect of a clown also uh, not all clowns are tidy let's be real and then so we're going all along that line now you can go as far down as you want with this I just kind of did it so that it creates more of a 3d effect and it looks like I have half a mask on but it's it's definitely something that's quite an easy thing to do if you're looking for something that's gonna be like time not time consuming uh, on Halloween night and something that will have a full effect as well for wherever you go they're going all the way along on each side and definitely would recommend to go back and forth and apply any more black shadow wherever is needed so going in with a dark deep red lip color this is colored rain called cherry blossom i'm not being neat about this because we're going to go over the edges with black but it's just to kind of make sure the center and kind of the overall uh, coverage of my lips are red and then you want to also make sure you don't forget your nose I forgot to do this but just get a liner and make a circle but make sure you don't fill it all in and leave a little bit so it looks like a shadow as such on the tip of your nose as well now next up I don't use a liquid liner I actually use a gel liner the Rimmel uh, black gel liner if it has a name and I actually use this for my lips I kind of regretted it because it I thought it would really kind of smudge quite well and blend in but in actual fact when you applied it on it felt so uncomfortable and sticky it wasn't quite the best decision but you can go for whatever you fancy I did powder it over the top with black so it wasn't as sticky throughout the night um, but you can use liquid liner I think it would work just as well just make sure that you blend it out really really well by tapping with your uh, forefinger finger with your um, second from last finger and just to make sure that it just blends out really well with the red and go back and forth in with the red if needs to so I'm just using a flat angled brush uh, yeah a flat angled brush to go in with this just making sure that I go around I did accentuate my lips a little bit more nothing too much just because we are creating much more of a fuller lip effect and going in on the edges on the top and also on the bottom as well but I've also done the corners of my lips like a little bit of black now this is so that when we do kind of apply the black shadow it's got a bit of a kind of gradient blend to the look as well um, and it kind of gives that sort of 3d effect on top <laughs> in with that black shadow you just want to tap it don't drag it across because you're going to drag a lot of that liner if you tap it in it blends really well with the lip product as well you can drag once you have tapped it sounds like a strange sort of process but once you've sort of locked in that liner that you've created then you'll find it a lot easier to smudge and blend out the red with it as well and do the top as well as the bottom any gaps that you see definitely go back in with the liner but what I've done is gone back in with that red, applied it a lot more and just keep tapping it into the lip until I find that there's a comfortable amount of red to kind of suit the look of what I'm hoping to achieve. And try not get in your hair like I've done because um, yeah, it's not a great look. So make sure you use your tapping finger. I've actually gone in a different colour as well. I went for a much more lighter red just to kind of give it a much more gradient and kind of like ombre effect I guess. And it didn't quite work as well, but it still creates a much more blood effect look for the lips. Now, using that same liner as before, just go in and create a smile. I actually didn't really do it to my smile. I just did it to what my lips would look without smiling, if that makes any sense. And gone into both sides and just evened out. Make sure that when you are creating it from the base of that line, is that you blend it in with the lips and kind of how your lips merge in those corners. And just kind of fill in the gaps and make it... As even as possible now this look I wanted a bit of glitter um, 
because why not? So I'm using Fix Plus and this MAC glitter I got from uh, MAC, I think quite a few Christmases ago. Popping it underneath my eyes and on top of my lips and the tip of my nose. I think it gives a fantastic look and works really well for what I'm achieving. Now because I'm so white, I want to make sure that that's even much more obvious. So I'm going in with a kind of very light dusted bronzer all over the areas that isn't white. Uh, and just to kind of give a bit more of a contrast so you can see the difference in between both. And then also it's just a great way of powdering and making sure that everything settles throughout the whole night because I can definitely imagine there'll be a lot of dancing and a lot of sweatiness happening. Um, so you want to make sure that it just kind of locks everything in and plus like I say it does bring up that kind of white mass that we've created. And just to even out the uh, bronzing, uh, I just made sure that my decolletage and my neck was also bronze. And that is the look. I hope you guys enjoy. Please give a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you enjoyed this and have a lovely Halloween. Bye.